the stakes and the tension are rising, as well as the weights on the barbell. Every lifter feels a great responsibility and commitment to other country higher the ranking. We are getting closer to heavyweight divisions where athletes work with incredible weights where there is no place for a 1 kilo cushion between the opponents. Turkey, media. Day 9 of the Qatar World Cup was full of tough battles and controversial moments, as again two Olympic categories gathered today to fight for the title. 11 female athletes showed their ultimate concentration and inner strength, as no one wanted to lose focus on the major prize of the day becoming a champion in the 81 kilos category and raising their own chances for selection to the Olympics. Watch the video till the end to know the new stars rising at the competition. Keep the pulse on the new records and personal best set. Let's go! In this Olympic weight class, we have three main leaders who pretend to be the strongest and also plan to secure their Olympic spots and run for the podium in Paris 2024. Let's present our supposed leaders. Two-time Oceania champion, bronze and silver world medalist 2022 and 23 from Australia, super authentical Aileen Sikamatana. Two solid powerhouses from the team China. Wang Siyu. During her nine years at the international platform, she won two gold and two silver medals at the Worlds. Also, she is an Olympic champion 2021 in Tokyo and Lian Chaomi, who is a two-time world champion in clean and jerk in this weight class. All of them reserved 270 kilos for the opening total, so no doubt. Today they will make an outstanding weightlifting show. The performance in the snatch exercise started from 100 kilos. On this contest day, 64% of all attempts were successful, which is an above average rate. Now let's analyze the top three lifters' performance. Sikamatana Aileen from Australia won the bronze medal in a snatch by lifting 112 kilos. The first attempt was 112 kilos she failed, the second was the same 112, and the last try of 117 kilos she didn't manage to lift because of hurry and inner tense. To compare her previous results in snatch, today she showed one of the best results. It was 3 kilos less than at the IWF World Cup in Rome, resulting in gold. The second place went to Wang Siyu from China, who snatched 120 kilos. However, she didn't succeed in lifting 125 kilograms on the second and third attempts. Unfortunately, she didn't show her best performance, as at her last performance at the World in Riyadh, she lifted 122 kilos. But her best snatch was 126 kilograms at the Asian Championships in Tashkent. The gold medal went to Lian Chaomi, who snatched 123 kilos. She did 115 kilos on the first attempt and 120 kilos on the second, resulting in 123 kilograms. Today, she showed her peak performance for the battle, ultimate power, inner stability and cool mind as she showed her best snatch. Summing up the snatch results, it was obvious who was likely to lead this competition. The Chinese team has already showcased multiple times that their athletes are one of the strongest ones. So Wang Siyu and Lian Chaomi were in the leading positions in snatch. Both athletes started their lifts with a great weight margin compared to the rest, namely 10 and 15 kilos gaps respectively. However, Wang lost her position a bit at the second and third tries, failing to lift 125 kilos. This mistake enabled her teammate Liang to become a leader today. Sikamatana Aileen finished third with 8 kilos behind Wang. It seemed to us that the Australian athlete was too self-confident and emotional as usual, which hindered her from coping with the ordered weights. What about the rest of the athletes winning the top six? 
The Polish athlete Veronika Zelinska was fourth with 108 kilograms. She showed a good performance and looked confident enough, but she failed her third attempt. The fifth place went to the Mexican Nolasco Hernández Lisbeth with her successful final attempt in 108 kilos, while Elena Irigina from Moldova closed the top six with 106 kilos. The contest in the clean and jerk discipline started with a weight of 120 kilograms. 51% of all attempts in these exercises were successful, which is a below average rate. Let's describe the performance of the top three lifters. Wang Suyu clinched third place by lifting 148 kilos on the first attempt. Namely, her first attempt was the only successful today, as she resulted with no lifts in the second and third attempts, failing to lift 155 and 160 kilos. The silver medalist in this session became Sikamatana Aileen with a result of 149 kilos on the second try. Today, she started her performance with 143 kilos, then moved to 149 on the second try. The third attempt was 152 kilos, which resulted in no lift. Lian Chaomi became a gold winner with an incredible lift of 161 kilos that brought her victory and a new senior world record. It needs to be mentioned that she also set the clean and jerk world record in Riyadh, which was 159 kilos, but in the 71 kilograms weight class. session, there were numerous red lights on the scoreboard. All lifters had at least one failed lift, but the majority resulted in double no-lift attempts. Even the leaders made mistakes, except for Lian Chaomi, who made a senior world record today. She lifted 161 kilos at the second try, improving her previous world record set in Riyadh by 2 kilos. Her teammate Wang Suyu was trying to get closer to the world record. Alas, she failed her second and third attempts that resulted in the third place. Sikamatana had great ambitions for this battle, but she didn't manage to cope with emotions and finished her performance with 149 kilos. By the way, another record set this evening. The Japanese lifter Nagashima Wakana succeeded in setting the junior world record with 131 kilos at the second attempt. However, she ranked seventh in this exercise. The fourth place moved to the Canadian athlete Leila Maya Caleste, who showed much better results in clean and jerk than in snatch. The fifth spot went to the Turkish lifter from Group B, Narin Delara, while Zelinska Veronika managed to secure sixth place in this session. The gold medalist in the division was Liang Chomi, who did 284 kilograms overall. It was her best result and is also a new world record. The silver medal went to her teammate Wang Suyu, who got 16 kilograms less in total, 268 kilos, showing her average at the competition. Just to say, her best total was 286 kilos at the 2020 Asian Champs. Aileen Sikamatana took bronze due to her total of 261 kilos, which was her second best result in her career. This time, she possibly didn't balance her strength and inner stability properly, so it seemed she was in a hurry at each lift. The performance in the women's 81 kg division proved once again that the Chinese training strategy and overall approach for preparing champions have no equal. Wang and Xiaomi showed incredible lifts that defeated their opponents with a great cushion behind them. This performance was also memorable due to several world records set. Leon Chomi set two records in clean and jerk and total.
while the Japanese Nagashima succeeded in setting the youth world record in clean and jerk as well. Subscribe to our channels and keep watching the world level event with us, as the competition is already over halfway to its culmination. Let's predict together who's gonna reign the podium in the next days. Thumb up our videos to get prime quality content and first-hand information directly from the lifters. Keep track of the competition and support your favorites. Stay strong and remember, warm body, cold mind.